Yeah, they have pockets for keys, right? Huh? That's what they have pockets for. Keys. Well, you gotta talk to Nike or whatever. They have pockets. I need a Merce. Huh? I need a Merce. <laughs> <laughs> I got one, I got one, but uh, right, I gotta wear that to practice. So obviously we all know about your rim protection ability, but this series, obviously you knew you were gonna have to take that challenge on the perimeter time as well. I know guys are gonna make tough shots, but it seems like you've been sliding with guys. Um, just how do you feel you've been hanging out on the perimeter with, with some of those guys that you've been having fun over there? Good, I mean, uh, our goal is for me to stay in uh, you know, to, to stay low, to stay in the paint the most of the time. So, uh, you know, and, uh, most of the times, you know, uh, that's what's going to happen with some possessions. Uh, I ended up uh, needing to switch uh, or when we messed up some stuff or whatever, or in rotations. So, I feel, I feel like I did a good job, you know, we know what we, uh, how coach told me how, how he wants me to uh, you know play a demo those switches what we're what we're okay with living with and uh feel like we've been doing a good job with that obviously they made some they made some shots but uh overall i think uh i did an okay job out there what did you guys have to put just flat back Guys already familiar with what he does. I mean, I mean we've been here for five years, so uh, I would say we're pretty familiar with his game and uh, what he want to do. But uh, you know, at the same time, he, he missed uh, you know whatever 20, 25 days, and uh, obviously there's going to be some adjustments even uh, for him, uh, you know, physical conditioning wise and everything. And the uh, game's going to be a little bit different with a player of that, you know, player that good coming back. You got to, you know, adjust to him too. So uh, we knew it was going to be a little bit of uh, adjustment, but uh, we got a lot of reps in together and uh, we know how, how we want to play. And uh, game three tomorrow will we'll be better. I mean, I, you know, it, it slowed me down for sure. Uh, picking up those two fouls. Uh, I mean, offensively, offensively and defensively, uh, you know, coming back in in the second quarter, you know, you, you didn't even warm up properly or anything. You know, all the guys are already in the rhythm, and I was uh, out of the rhythm, so it took me a little bit. But uh, obviously, don't want to, you know, don't want to get into foul trouble that early again. And uh, I gotta, I gotta be out there for my team, and uh, I'll be out. There. How did you notice any increased physicality between game one and game two? It seemed like they wanted to hit you a lot harder early. Uh, than yeah, they did. yeah, yeah. I, I felt like uh, they were more physical than in game one. Uh, that was probably one of their adjustments, and uh, it was it was great. You know, I, I like playing physical. Our team likes playing physical. Uh, it's playoffs. It's playoffs basketball. Teams are supposed to play physical, be aggressive, and uh, that's what we expected. So, looking forward to the game three. How do you balance needing to counter that, absorb it, dish it back out with also? I mean, they're they're asking you to score in this series. Like, yeah. you know how big of an impact yeah. that was. That you gotta still control yourself at the rim and finish. Yeah. Like, how do you balance that? For sure. I mean, uh, that's what uh, kind of uh, those two early fouls kind of limited me of being, you know, more physical for the rest of the game. I mean, I feel like, especially in the first half when I came back in the second quarter, I didn't want to pick up another one. But uh, I think that's one of the, you know, just got to be smart about physical. Don't have dumb physicality, have smart physicality, you know, know when to be physical, how to be physical, and not get yourself in a foul trouble. You always do it really. It does. It does feel like it. I don't know. Uh, we've been we've been a good road team this year, and uh, I don't know. It's uh, I feel like you got more time to focus on basketball. You know, you're away from uh, from your uh, home, uh, from your friends, 
family, other stuff outside of basketball. You're, you're with your teammates, you're with your coaches. Uh, all you do is uh, basketball. So I feel like you're more locked in. And, uh, that's the best thing. Even though we've looped ahead with some big shots at the end, do you guys feel like, for the most part, these first two games, you guys have done a pretty good job? We haven't seen that Luka explosion. I mean, I feel like we, we've been doing really good defensively. They've done a score over 100 in both games. Uh, I think I think our defense, other than a few miscommunications, you know, a few game plan mistakes, I think our defense has been pretty good so far. Uh, I think, uh, you know, if we're a little bit better offensively in that game, too, we're, we'll win that game. We, you know, our defense allowed us to stay in the game and have a chance to win. So, I feel like we can keep playing defense like that. Uh, we're going to have a chance to win. Uh, so a similar question about the defense. You always do a really good job of having good chemistry with your guards. Both well, Terrence and Russ have been tasked with a lot of the point of yeah. attack duties. How do you feel like the chemistry is doing with those two? It's been good. It's been good. They've been doing a great job. Uh Pressure in the ball, uh, being physical with guys, fighting over the screens, uh, getting back in front of Luca after after they set a screen, and uh, just communication with them when they might be late or they get stuck on a screen with those late switches and stuff. It's been it's been really good and uh, really you know really enjoy playing defense, being on the court with them together. In your experience in the playoffs, how challenging is it to you know come on the road and the It's challenging, you know, Dallas, uh, we played here before, they got a great crowd, uh, place gets really loud, and uh, it's going to be tough, but uh, we won games here before, and uh, we know how to, we've been pretty good on the road this year, so uh, I would say, you know, it's going to be a challenge, of course, but uh, we, if we, you know, play defense like we played so far, if we... Uh, but a little bit of better on offense, we, we're going to have a pretty good chance there. So what do you make of the success that Dallas appears to be having when they don't have uh, one of their main traditional centers on the court, Gaff or uh, Lively? It seems like Maxi being at the five has really helped them, um, especially game two. Uh, I don't know. No answer. I don't know. Thank you, Zoo. Thank you. Huh? Well, they've been trying to do that all game long. When I do it, everyone's like, don't do it. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.